This is your average Frisbee, but today it's not. Today, this is the Milky Way galaxy. One of the most astounding things about outer space is how large it is. Nobody, absolutely nobody, can truly understand its great size. But we want to get you one step closer. And that's why we're starting with our galaxy as this frisbee in this football stadium. And we're going to go out to the size of the entire visible universe, all using sizes and distances that are a little easier to understand. Let's start with the stars we see at night. Many people know a few constellations like Orion or Ursa Major, but where are these stars on our Frisbee representation? Here I've placed a small dot to represent the Earth's position in our Milky Way galaxy. So are the stars we see around this dot? Are they around the whole galaxy? Or are some of them even outside of the galaxy? Well, sorry, but all of those answers are wrong because this dot is large enough to contain all of the stars we see at night. Even in the darkest skies, we can only see a few thousand stars. And that means that for every star you can see, there are 10 million more in our galaxy that you just can't. So at this point, understanding the size of the universe might seem hopeless, but let me give you some good news. There are a few objects that you can see that are not in this dot. In fact, they're not anywhere near this galaxy. And those are our ticket to understanding the scale of the universe. So where are they? At 9 and 12 inches from our frisbee, we have the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds, which are 163 and 200,000 light years away. These are two dwarf galaxies that orbit the Milky Way, but you can only see them in the Southern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere, we have the Andromeda Galaxy, which is at 13 feet or 2.5 million light years, and is represented by a larger frisbee. The Andromeda Galaxy could be as large as twice the diameter of the Milky Way, at 200,000 light years across. This is the farthest object you can see with your naked eye. At 59 feet, we have Bode's Galaxy, which is a bright galaxy that can be seen with binoculars or a small telescope. It's quite popular with amateur astronomers. And finally, at 150 feet, we have the Sombrero Galaxy, only three inches on this scale, for a touchdown on our football field. These are just a few of our closest galactic neighbors. There are way more galaxies that we did not even show. Now we want to go to the edge of the observable universe, and to do that, we need to leave the football stadium. We're going to the farthest galaxy ever imaged. It's called GN Z11. It's a 45 minute drive, 30 miles away from the football field. So we're leaving Tucson and going to Green Valley, Arizona. And here it is, a small cotton ball more than 25 times smaller than the Milky Way. And yet somehow we've managed to image this all the way from back in Tucson. At this point, we're very close to the edge of the visible universe. All we have to do is drive up Mount Hopkins, which you can see behind me. And here it is, the edge of the visible universe. 45 miles from where we first started on our football field, conveniently located at the Multiple Mirror Telescope Observatory. You can still see Tucson to the north, and somewhere, a small frisbee sitting on a football field. So now we've shown you the edge of the visible universe, but we have to admit that we've left out a few mind-boggling facts. We previously mentioned that the Andromeda Galaxy was two and a half million light years from the Milky Way, which means that we see it as it was two and a half million years ago. Well, GNZ 11 is 32 billion light years away from the Milky Way, but the whole universe is only about 13.8 billion years old. So how can we even see this galaxy? Well, because of the expansion of the universe, this galaxy used to be much, much closer. So we see it as it was 13.4 billion years ago. 
only 400 million years after the Big Bang. We'll leave you with one last thought. We've shown you the edge of the visible universe, but this is probably not the actual edge of the universe. For all we know, the universe is infinite, and there's no distance that we could ever travel to show it to you.